Hi everyone, it's Lehman with Leaf Covered Skies. I'm here today with a flip through of this vintage retro sewing journal. It is one of six. And let me go ahead and get the measurements of this. This is a little bit under five and a half by eight and a half. So five and a half by eight and a half. And it has a spine that is two and a two and a quarter inches thick. There are three signatures, and it does come with a mini lap book that will be either this exact one or one that is similar to this one. And if you want to see the flip through for this one, I did a separate video for that, so I will link that video. This has a dangle that is a fabric dangle. It's flat and I basically, instead of putting charms on here, I put um, stamped images of a thimble, um, a spool of thread, scissors, little knickknacks, and it's flat instead so it could go inside the journal as well. And the pieces back here are from Mixed Media Minnesota that I printed onto fabric. The spine is covered with a vintage sheet. This is one of my favorite vintage sheets, either a vintage sheet or a vintage pillowcase. And this little ruff ruffle here is the vintage sheet from a vintage sheet. And the cover is an, um, it's made of a sewing pattern envelope and I made sure to adhere it so that it kind of became one with the cover. So it's very um, sturdy. And the back is just the back of the sewing pattern envelope. The closure is a hitch post fastener with a hair tie. And this is not overly full. It's not an alligator mouth so you have room to expand in it and it's probably a little bit easier to write in this way all right so this is adhered down it kind of became one with the the book cover it's hardback and copyright on the pattern is 1978 this first signature starts out with Taylor made journals grungy wallpaper. I love the, these patterns. This is made from sewing pattern tissue and it's kind of poofy and just feels really good in the hands. This is part of a, a knitting magazine from the 50s some copy dyed paper right here. This is from a 1970s magazine. These are some bunk bed pockets made from a 1970s home improvement book. And I tucked some cards for journaling in here. These cards are made from Jenny Allsorts Digitals. I don't remember the name of this digital. I will try to remember to link it down below in the pocket here are two digitals from KB and Friends and another one from uh, the same kit as the pocket. The paper back here is from a vintage Kodak pamphlet. Other than coffee dyed paper and printables and maybe a couple pieces of ledger, ledger paper, um, most of these pages are vintage. Here's some ledger paper that might have been from, I don't know, like the 90s or something. Ruffle fabric from vintage, um, or fabric ruffle from vintage, from a vintage sheet. This is a pocket from a vintage retro slide mount. And I put an image in here that came from I think this one came from a National Geographic magazine or that 70s um, home improvement book. I'm, I can't remember exactly which one. And there are some journaling cards in there. 
I love how this paper from that 70s home improvement book is yellowed and I made a pocket out of that same paper and collaged it with um, this is from Little Bindi oh no this is from one of my handkerchiefs that I scanned and this is collaging using um, Taylor Made Journal's grungy wallpaper and there's a journaling card in here some deli paper right here and this beautiful paper from Taylor Made Journals. Some more deli paper, the other side of that. This is a vintage ad from a 70s magazine. This big pocket right here is a vintage ad, and tucked inside is a piece of coffee dyed paper. Some ledger paper right here. More coffee dyed paper. This right here is a top tuck and it's from a book called The Deltagram from the 40s. Kind of like a home improvement book. I love those types of books. And this right here is a recipe card. Kodak pamphlet, some ledger paper. I love this color ledger paper. This is from a 70s magazine. The other side of that knitting book. Sewing pattern tissue. And we move on to the second signature. This here is an altered paper clip with an acetate window envelope so something can be tucked in right here and there's an opening on the other side as well and I'm going to clip it back on here with that paper clip the Delta Gram book knitting book this flips out right there there are a couple of journaling cards in here this is from KB and Friends love this image from a National Geographic magazine and it holds this This image here is from a five ring binder that was, I think, a sewing one from Better Homes and Garden. This is from a kid's Betty Crocker book. It flips up here. And in this pocket, there's a recipe card. some cards in here for journaling. I love the diagrams from that 70s home improvement book. And I can't believe I got the whole series of those books. There were like at least 10. I got them all for free at an estate sale. This is an altered paper clip with this acetate window envelope. Some book page from a recipe book right here. This is engineering paper. This is an ad from a vintage magazine and it holds a journaling card. 
another one of those vintage retro slide mounts holding a journaling card and we come to the third signature here is a loaded pocket it has some goodies in here these are vintage fabrics glued onto coffee dyed paper and again this is the kit from mixed media minnesota there are a couple pieces in here that can be journaled on as well there is a top tuck right here i love the way this paper this is from taylor may journals looks with this ruffle and then how it goes together with that this was actually an accident this cardstock was too thick so my tr um, printer had a problem feeding it through and it only printed till right here, but I thought it was perfect. This is a tip-in, flips out like that. You can journal on this side and there are a couple of journaling cards in here. This is avocado dyed paper. And this is some, um, a graph index card. <clears throat> this is from a 70s magazine. This is from a pamphlet from a like high-end department store from back then. I think it was Bullock's. Love these greens. Here are some more vintage retro sliding cards or vintage retro slide mounts. And these are the floating ones. And I love that you can see through when you touch something behind there. I've been using my embossing machine a lot lately. When I have time, I literally just take all of my um, scraps and just emboss for like an hour. Here's another altered paper clip and it's holding this piece from a National Geographic magazine. This is a belly band that I sewed across the middle. So it does go all the way through, I believe. Let me see. Yeah, it's open-ended. It's holding some recipe cards, but this came from a book. It was a sewing book from the 40s, and I love these images so much. M definitely my favorite. That might be one of my favorite books of all time, and I actually cut into it. Here's a loaded pocket some pieces in here for journaling. As well as down here. So that's the end of this journal. I hope you enjoyed this flip through. If you did, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you so much for watching today and I will talk to you next time. Bye everyone.